hope you're having an amazing day. So I am about to go out fall slash Halloween shopping with my friend and I'm really excited. We're gonna go check out Michael's and I haven't been to Michael's in quite a while but I love Michael's because they always have really cute fall and Halloween decorations and I always love the little animatronics where they have things that move. They're usually pretty expensive and I don't usually get any but like I'm gonna have a look just because I find they're fun to look at. And I don't know if there's anything that's inexpensive I might pick up some decorations. I just like want to deck out the house even more. I have a couple of decorations around my room. We don't have a lot set up around the house yet, but um, I'll give you guys a little quick look at what I have so far. All right, so I have this little pumpkin and I have just like one of those little battery powered tea light candles that I like to put in it. And then I like to put that on at nighttime. It's just really cute. And then I also have this other big one. It's literally sitting on a drum, but I have nowhere else to put it. So I just kind of use this drum as my table for certain decorations sometimes. But again, I have one of those little tea light candles that's inside that I could just switch on and the jack-o-lantern lights up. Can't see it much right now because it's daytime, but. And I also have leaf stickers and they're sparkly, they're like glittery. I got those at Dollarama, I believe. I think this is the third year I have them, so they're starting to get a little, not as sticky as I first got them. Like there's some little edges that will lift, but not so bad. So I like to put those on my mirror. I just think it's so cute. And then I have these little orange Christmas lights. I don't even know what you call them, but they're Halloween version. <laughs> so I like to put those on my vanity. I also have these cute little tea light candles that are um, Halloween themed, because they're like a, they're kind of like an orangey gold, I guess. The wick is a little bit longer on those too. So I have those around my room as well. And then at nighttime, I just love to light everything up. I gotta show you guys my other random fall decoration that I created. So this is literally a little like cup and saucer that we found at my grandparents' house. It's actually from Greece. You can see like the Greek pattern on it and it says Greece in the cup. But yeah, it's just one of the things we found when we were cleaning out their house and stuff because we had to sell the house. And I just kind of like made it into a fall decoration. <laughs> Just for now, I don't know, I kinda like it. I think it's kinda cute and like when it's dark, it's really, really adorable. I found these little acorns and pine cones on a trail in the forest with my boyfriend and I thought they were so cute and adorable. Like they're so tiny and he was just like looking at me weirdly like, why are you picking up all these acorns and pine cones? He's like, Dina, you're gonna bring bugs home. I'm like, no, I'm not, there's no bugs on these. And I put them in my backpack and I actually have a cinnamon essential oil that smells absolutely amazing and I love using it this time of year. I actually just picked it up at Winners. Winners has such good oils every now and then and they're like pure oils like they don't have like crazy additives and stuff so I don't know why some people pay like so much money for oils they're like oh it's top quality but I'm like I get some pretty good high quality oils at Winners for like seven bucks or less so I don't know but anyways that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, I actually put some of the cinnamon oil on the little pine cones and the acorns and it smells so good and like every so often like I'll walk by and I'll just get like a whiff of it or if I have my window open and a breeze goes by then you smell it. I also just love to put in my diffuser this time of year. I just think it's so festive. One thing I am really looking for though is like an apple um, essential oil. I don't know if they sell apple essential oils but I feel like if I mix that with the cinnamon it would just smell so good. It would smell like apple pie but anyways I don't know if you guys have ever seen like apple essential oil anywhere. Let me know. I feel like that's something that might pop up at Winners at some point but like certain oils are kind of like hit or miss. Like the cinnamon one I've only seen it there once and you have to snag it right away. But yeah this is like current setup up on my wall it has like a couple little witchy you know halloween type things here or there but like i said i don't have enough also a one thing i've wanted for so long and i am especially feeling it right now is i want to get a little cauldron they have those little cast iron cauldrons that you can usually find at spiritual shops i've seen them in the past and i'm like okay i shouldn't spend money on this right now because they're usually like for the size i want they're usually around 45 dollars but i like really really want one now and i've just like haven't really gotten the chance to go to the store and then like the times that i'm free they're closed i think it'll just like really you know tie in the whole little like witchy theme that I have going but anyways I'm gonna bring you along a little bit I'll show you some clips from Michael's just to kind of show you what kind of stuff that they have there if we end up going in any other stores then I'll bring you along and I definitely want to get into spirit Halloween soon hi guys so it's the next day and I'm just gonna give you guys kind of like a summary of my day yesterday so I went out looking for fall slash Halloween decorations with my best friend and it just didn't turn out how we thought it was gonna be so one I just want to point out I don't know if it's just our area or if 
people are finding this like across everywhere but I feel like all the stores are rushing October and rushing Halloween and fall and it's not even officially fall yet like it's still September it's not even October and I'm usually really excited to go to Michael's in the fall time because they have their display so they usually have like their table with like those little houses that like animatronic things that move and stuff and light up and they're usually really really fun to look at but we get there and the display table is already Christmas it's not even October yet like why do you already have all the Christmas stuff out they had some fall stuff but like all the animatronics were in boxes at like the end of a shelf like not even open for you to see what they do hey guys so I'm just like editing my video now and I realized that the footage that I had of me panning across like those little Halloween buildings that they normally have on display but didn't I don't like the footage is gone and maybe I just didn't record it and I thought it was recording but looking back now like they had a decent amount of Halloween stuff I guess I was just kind of surprised by the fact that the main display was already taken over by Christmas but I'll show you guys like what they did have it wasn't all bad I feel like I was kind of like super let down and like exaggerating things but like they had a decent amount of Halloween stuff there it just was kind of taken over by Christmas for like the main area but they did have a variety of stuff so I'll show you what they did have and I did get some footage but the other footage that I had is for some reason it's lost but like I said it's in boxes it's not like you can actually see what they do so it's like I don't know you're not really missing out that much <laughs> So we went to Michael's and then after that we went to HomeSense. Um, again, there was very little there. There was some Halloween um, fall stuff, but kind of like again disappointed with the variety of things there. They had a couple really cute Halloween things, but like for the price and like what it was, I felt like it was just like not worth the price. I'm like, okay, I'll just save my money. I think we went to Marshall's after that, which didn't have really anything for fall Halloween. But like we ended up getting other stuff. Of course you go out and you like have like something specific in mind that you're looking for and then you get carried away. I ended up just buying like this hyaluronic acid serum. I tried it last night and this morning and it actually feels really good. And the kind of person that reads like all the ingredients of everything and I make make sure I buy the best of things anyways I used to work at Sephora and like I'm basically running out of all the products that I used to get for free right so I need to like get new products and I'm like no I'll give the serum a try like it's 10 bucks the ingredients look really good and it's hyaluronic acid I'm like why not I could use something that's very hydrating like here I'm talking and I'm not actually showing you what I got so I got this um, hyaluronic acid and probiotic serum by Province Beauty this is like a vegan brand and so far I like it it feels really nice it's almost like it's very very lightweight but once it soaks into your skin your skin feels so hydrated and the third ingredient is hyaluronic acid so that is a good sign when it's so high up on the list can't go wrong for 10 bucks I'm gonna give it a try so far I like it and also there's 60 milliliters that you never get anything this big at like Sephora and stuff usually like 50 mils is the highest it goes and I also got a hair oil because my hair has been feeling really dry lately and I mean that's to be expected this time of year it's just dry and this is what happens so I got this 99% natural coconut hair oil I know I could just literally buy like coconut oil and just rub it in my hands but I find that's like greasier and harder to work through my hair so I do like this it's like very liquidy and easy to work through your hair plus it's not just coconut oil there's other types of oils in here as well I like it it smells really good it's for dry slash damaged hair I wouldn't call my hair damaged by any means like I'm 
very careful with my hair. I don't use heat or anything, but it's curly hair. It gets dry, especially with different seasons. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I talked about Michaels, but I didn't tell you what I got at Michaels. So I didn't end up getting anything fall or um, like Halloween themed. I ended up picking up some pens because I've been so sick of my pens running out constantly. Whenever I journal, my pens are always running out and I'm like grabbing another one and that one runs out and I just like going through so many pens. I know I just need to stop using cheap pens. I love the cute pens that they sell at Indigo and stuff and they have like cute little sayings and quotes on them, but they never last long so I ended up picking up this artist loft illustration pen and this one's just like two dollars and change and oh my god guys it writes so beautifully I have already tried it it's so smooth there's so much ink in it my friend Krista helped me pick this out because she's a graphic designer and she went to school for this and she like knows all about different art supplies she's right it is so good um, and then I've been really wanting to try writing with like a fountain pen and I really want to get better at my handwriting and um, cursive and calligraphy and stuff so I ended up getting this little set and it comes with a um, the like the pen holder oopsies I'm dropping everything and it comes with three they call them nibs I think like it's the tips of the pen that you stick at the top and then it comes with the black ink and it's actually really fun I definitely need to get the hang of it but it's really cool got that and then I also am like okay this is so beautiful I want to try this out it's calligraphy ink but it's gold ink and I just thought that would be so fun to use so I was kind of playing with that last night and then what else did we do oh yeah yeah, of course we had to get our first pumpkin spice latte of the season and we both had Starbucks gift cards <laughs> we're like let's go to Starbucks I don't usually go to Starbucks actually but I had a gift card and I love pumpkin spice latte so we went and got that and we also got a slice of pumpkin loaf which was absolutely delicious it was amazing and then where did we go after that okay so we went to Urban Planet because we wanted to get Halloween pajamas I came to the realization the other day that all my pajamas are either Christmas pajamas or they're just like random pieces of things so it's literally just like a t-shirt and shorts or sweatpants and stuff like that I don't actually have a lot of like cute pajamas and I definitely don't have any like nice silky pajamas which is something else I want to get but anyways we wanted to get Halloween pajamas okay so obviously we're at Urban Planet there's a lot of cute things Urban Planet always has so many sales on top of that so they had a 40% off sale pajamas were the last thing we picked out because they were at the like cash area like at the end so we actually kind of gave up on getting Halloween pajamas we didn't think we we're gonna find any but we ended up getting a whole bunch of other clothes I'll show you guys my pajamas first and then I'll show you the other stuff I got but we both got matching pajama pants actually not matching like they're the same pants with different pattern I'm sorry um, but yes yeah, so they're like really really soft they're almost like a legging style then they had they didn't have like necessarily pajama tops but they had Halloween t-shirts that they mix and match and they just kind of like tied and wore with the pajamas yeah that's what they had on the mannequins anyways so I got the Dracula t-shirt my friend Krista got the um, Chucky with Chucky's Bride t-shirt, which was really cute too. Cute. <laughs> I guess as cute as Chucky could get, um, which is fun, I guess is a better word to use. Like it's fun to have like Halloween themed t-shirts. But yeah, so I got that and I'm happy that I can finally have like Halloween themed pajamas. So I wore those last night and I'll show you guys what else I got. So yeah, like I said, they had 40% off. Pretty good quality stuff. Like obviously you have to like look around and like pick out what looks good. But I got this giant sweater, like it's so long and it's so comfy. This would have come to about 12 bucks, <laughs> like with the sale, it's insane. Yeah, and I love this kind of like mustardy color. I think it's just perfect for the fall weather. And I feel like I'll go with a lot of outfits, which is really nice. I got another jean jacket. The other one I have is a little bit lighter and it's just jean, but this one has like almost like the sweater on the sleeves. And this is something I can literally wear with so many different outfits. And yeah, I mean, jean never goes out of style. <laughs> so like jean jackets will last you forever. Normally $39.99 and again, it's 40% off. So it's about like $17, $18. And then Krista and I got matching dresses. We actually got so many matching clothes. We're so funny. But yeah, she got a green, like a deep green, but I ended up getting the gray um, and it's a sweater dress. I absolutely love sweater dresses. I think they're so cute. This one has a nice big hood on on it too and I just think with some like high-rise boots it would look really really cute so I'm super excited about that they never have too many sweaters for fall and winter so I got this black sweater and at the front it just looks like a regular sweater but it's like the back that just makes it because it has this really cute like 
uh, you know how to explain it, like crisscross situation happening. So I really like that. And then I also have these really nice like leather pants. They are actually so, so comfortable. My friend Krista also got pleather pants, slightly different style than mine. Like mine has a little belt on it, but we both got that and we both got matching shirts. She got a different color, but it's the exact same shirt. This shirt is so cool. And I don't even know if the camera is picking up on it, but it looks like there's always like blue and purple and red lights on this shirt. Like it looks like there's a whole bunch of cool lights. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the cutest little like party, like girls night out outfit. When everything is officially over and it's safe and good to go out for a girls night out, we're gonna be wearing our matching outfits. This is just a little accessory, but I got a mask and my mom actually got one of these. I'm like, I want one of those in my life. So it is a sequin mask and it's like, it's reusable, it's washable, and it has its two keys. So like there's a part that goes inside that actually has a spot for you to put your um, like your filter in it, and it goes underneath like, like the sparkly mask. And it was $11.99 plus 40% off, so again, pretty cheap. We're like, okay, we definitely need to check out Spirit Halloween because Spirit Halloween will not fail us. And oh my God, the setup this year, guys, was so fun. And I wish I had the money to get these giant animatronics, but they were just so creepy. Like there was this giant clown and it was just so creepy. <laughs> They had this like skeleton thing or like creature that just literally like popped out. There's so many of them. There's like the creepy little girl that was being controlled. Whatever I say. <laughs> and they had this like creepy jack in the box thing, and then like the handle would move by itself. Oh, it's turning. That's so cool. Can I just keep loaded with money before I can get all of you? I know, right? I'll show you guys the rest of the clips here so you guys can see. go back to Dollarama actually because I know they had like some cute stuff there and I was kind of holding off because I hadn't like looked around at other stores yet but I think I may go back and look again at what they had and maybe I'll pick out a couple little decorations here and there anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's definitely something that's different from what I usually make I don't usually make these like chit chat vlog type videos I guess I just I never know where to start and I always think I'm like oh my god my life's like not very exciting so what am I supposed to vlog about but I don't know if you guys like this stuff make sure to let me know if you want to see more videos like this and I can do that for you guys thank you for watching my video if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification just to let you know when I've uploaded a new video I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys again soon take care guys bye bye